guys, Phil here from Outback Swaggin. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a cooking segment. Uh, I'm gonna cook up some bush scones, or maybe like a little bit of a sweet damper, as you could call it. Um, it's coming to the end of fire season now, so I figured why not just get this out of the way. Nice one to finish up on, so here we go. Um, gonna use some self-raising flour. Gonna want about three and a half cups of self-raising flour. So these little Outback Swagging cups, if you haven't seen these already, head over to outbackswagging.bigcartel.com and grab one of these if you want. Well, these are a perfect two cups, so. That's two. Three. And a bit. And to that we want just about a teaspoon of salt, not much, and about four teaspoons of sugar, one, two, three, four-ish. Um, I've got some melted butter here. It's another good thing about these camp cups. You can just sit them by the fire and you know, melt some butter if you need to. All right, butter's in. That's about 40 grams of melted butter or you know, two tablespoons or something. And I'm gonna go for about a cup of milk. Get that in there as well. Right, now you just want to slowly combine it and not really work it too much. So just bring that together. Now you want sort of like a real wet dough, so I'm just going to grab some milk, uh, grab some water. Just want to get about half a cup in there to start. Little bit more, but that's looking good. Like I said, you really want sort of a wet, wet consistency for this one. All right, get a bit of flour on your board. Like I said, this is really wet mix here, so. Fair bit of flour on there. All right, now you just want to make sort of like shape it into a bit of a log. Flour over the top. Now you just want to cut this into, do the best you can and cut it into six equal sizes much as you can. Alright, and just dust them around so they're all, all the wet edges have got some flour on there. Just 
just like so. And there we are, we got about six sort of equal size guns. So I got my camp hover out on the fire. And I'm just gonna dust that with a bit of flour. All right guys, so my camp hover's just come off the fire. Oh, it's still bloody hot. Um, I just wanna get a bit of flour in there. I just want to dust it around. Just the line. Just have a bit of a lining of flour around the camp oven. Just so it doesn't stick too much. Alright, now... What I want to do is just pack these in here, just around. Round in a circle. There you go, have a look at that. That's what we want there. And they're gonna to grow together. Chuck the lid on them. Ooh. Now those are ready to stick on the fire. All right, so we've got some coals going on here. So we don't need too much heat. On the bottom, just where that fire was will be plenty. And we chuck 90% of the coals on top. And that there is all it takes. It should take about 30. I'll check it after 30 minutes. Um, but it should take about 30 to 40 minutes. So stick around, we'll see you in a bit and I'll show you the finished product. All right guys, so that's been 35 minutes. Um, I think they're pretty much done now. So let's get these bad boys off. See how these things look, eh? You ready? There we go. Oh, that's bloody hot. That's bloody hot. Alright. A bit of a juggle around. There we are, guys. Look at that. I'll tell you what. I am happy with that result. Mate, I tell you what, oh, 
Look at that. Bloody beautiful. Mm. Nice and steaming. Golden brown. Gotta love that. Right, get rid of this camp oven now. Right, to go with these, we've got some strawberry jam. Gotta love that. Some dollop cream. And some butter. Let's do this. Come on, mate, come and get a bloody scone. Get them all they're hot, you reckon? Hey, get them all they're hot, yeah, that's it. Oh, look at look that, mate, hey. Looks amazing. Looking at that, you want some butter? Yeah, why not? Get in there. Yeah, correct. Some jam there, some cream. The age old question, mate, is it jam and cream? Cream and jam. Oh, it's jam and cream, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Oh. mate tell the folks not bad at all mate you've done well <laughs> cheers bloke enjoy that i have to enjoy <laughs> all right so moment of truth I'm pretty impressed with that. Awesome. So there you have it guys. Bush scones or bush damper, whatever you want to call it. A bit of jam and cream. I think they're brilliant. Perfect for a bit of an afternoon tea. Go ahead with a coffee or something, cup of tea, magic. If you like this recipe, please like and subscribe. Check out my other recipes. I'll leave a link in the description up here. Uh, I'll leave a link up here or there's also just in the description. Um, I've got a few other cooking videos as well. Go check those out. Like I said, guys, like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you around the campfire. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Root.